In this first programming video for the language Java, we're going to do a basic Hello World program. So we're going to say hello using the Eclipse IDE and Java 14 is the edition that we're on right now. Welcome to the language Java. We're going to jump right into a Hello World program. And so before we do that, let's take a quick spin around the Eclipse IDE. Now I'm using the dark mode on Eclipse 2020. Makes it a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. But like many IDEs, this central area is where we're going to work on our files. We have the console where we'll see our output. And over here we have a file tree to show us the projects that we've got. Now the projects that I currently have on the side here are projects I've already created to test for this video series. We're going to recreate all of these and from the very beginning, I'm going to show you the process of how I create not just the files, but the projects themselves to begin to help you set up your workflow and show you that it's really not that hard. Now, like all IDEs, these windows can be moved in and out. They can be resized. I can take these two windows over here and resize them, although they're not cooperating with me right now because I'm fully, ex there we go. So you can see that I can make them smaller or larger as I need. And I can, of course, move the console up and down if I need to see more output. So we're going to set it right about here for now and move on. So first I'm going to say File, New, and I'm going to go over here to Java Project. And I'm going to call this one Hello World. And I'm going to put a V after it to disambiguate it from the ones that I've already created so that I know this is the one I did during the video. Now, one of the things that I am not going to do is I'm not going to play around with the brand new module files. So when I say finish, it's going to ask me about this module information file, which is an, a nice new uh, information type system where I can generate comments and information about the modules. I'm not going to create that because we don't need that for the purposes of this course. So I should now have Hello World V and I'm going to open this up and you'll see that it's already included the Java Runtime Environment JDK, the Java Developers Kit for Java SE 14. And I have a source folder. Now in my source folder, I use a package naming system that makes it easier for me to disambiguate my code from someone else's. And I'll show you how we do that. We go up here to the package icon and click it. And I usually use my last name and then I say dot teach because I'm the teacher. My students typically will put, you know, period one, period two, something like that in there so that I can tell who's who in the zoo when I'm looking at, you know, 200 different programs. So in this package now, I'm going to create my first application class. So I'm going to go up here to the file new Java class icon, which is the little C, which if that's hard to see, I'll say file new and I can, whoop, I can come over here to class and pick class. And I'm going to the class dialog. And because for the first few applications, we really only need the main application class. I'm going to name this main. And because it's a class in Java, it gets a capital letter. But I'm also going to tell it that I need the main loop because this class I'm going to actually run. I'm going to execute this class. So I need the entry point method. So I'm going to check that box right there. And then I'm going to pick finish. The nice thing about Eclipse is it does a lot of work for us. Here's our main class. It's got my package and basically it gives me the class name and then it gives me my main method and it has stubbed it in as to do. So I need to do something in my main method. This is where the program is going to begin to run. Very similar to the language C. Although you'll notice we don't have argv and argc, we just have a string array of arguments that can get passed in should we need to access them. So first thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to learn how to multi-line comment. And they start with slash asterisk. And if I hit return, I automatically get three of them, which is really kind of cool. And I'm just going to say, hello, world. But on top of that, I'm going to say my name, the class, computer science. Ooh, must have hit my caps lock. Advanced computer science. And let's put today's date, August 1, 2020. And I could put my class period, things of that nature. I'm just going to quit there for now. Okay, it's hello world. So here's my package name. Here's my main class. And in my main class, I have my main method. And in here, I'm going to do my first print statement. And I'm betting you can guess what it's going to be. Now, printing to the console, system, we go system.out. Dot, and if I use print line, I can just hit enter there and it'll automatically finish it and colorize it. System out the output stream print line means print what is whatever is in here and give me the carriage return at the end. If I get rid of the LN and just do print, it's going to hold the carriage and keep going. And we'll see various forms of that as we go. But of course, I want to do a hello world, so I'm going to say hello world. Okay? Not doing a lot, but there we go. Now we're going to go up here to this run main. I can drop that down and you can see I've been running a lot of different things. But if I just click on that, it says hello world. Now as you get more projects, you want to make sure that you're running the correct main because you may have several mains that you create. So make sure you're kind of on the same one. Sometimes you can get a little confused there. But there it is. Hello world. And if I want to change it, save my changes and run it. It is compiling it and executing it at the same time. Okay. Now one of the things you're going to want to notice is if I do something wrong, let's say I forgot my semicolon, I get these little red X's and if you hover over it, it tells me what it thinks is wrong. Syntax error, insert semicolon. And in Eclipse, it is really good at telling you what it doesn't like. So it's almost, you can think of it as it's pre-compiling it as you go. Now that's not always going to catch your runtime errors, but it's going to catch the types of errors that are, you know, the compiler can tell right away you've got wrong. So a lot of your syntax will be handled for you. The other thing I want you to show, I want you to see is these little circles on the side show you how you can fold your code. So that when we're looking at large methods, uh, which we're not, but if you're looking at a large method, you can see just the signature of the method, which is the first line. If it's folded, you can just go dink and look at it. Or if you just want to go, what did I do in main? You can hover over it. There it is. So I'm right over it. You got to be right on top of that little plus sign. It will peek for you and show you what's going on. So mine's being a little temperamental, but it does work. All right. That is Hello World. Okay. Now you've seen a Hello World program. Let's keep rolling. In the next video, we're going to talk about basic assignments in Java.